Hello everyone and welcome to the end of the year sketchbook tour. That's right, 2020 is about to leave us and I wanted to go over what I was able to do in my sketchbooks for 2020. Now, I know that I did not get as many as I had hoped, but I did accomplish quite a few and I am very proud about that fact. But the thing is, is that I want to be able to push myself for 2021. And so I will, at the end of this, um, <clears throat> so at the end of this video, I'm actually going to put out a challenge uh, for myself and I'm going to go ahead and throw out the consequence as well if I do not make it. But I hope that you guys will enjoy the sketchbook tour of 2020 and join me at the end so that you can find out what the challenge is and what you possibly could win if I don't make it. All right, so here are all the sketchbooks that we were able to complete in 2020. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So seven, not bad, got past the halfway mark, but you know, definitely wanna try and get more together for next year. So <clears throat> here's the first one. It's uh, from when I did a sketchbook a month, so I still have a couple of these books that I'm, I'm plowing through, um, put stickers on it, and I snapped the spine on this, so, you know. Um, but, <clears throat> just some weapon designs working on Ninja Empire, very important uh, work for me, because I'm working on a project, comic, uh, comic video game toy line, so I'm just, you know, doing sketches and trying to figure out what I want to do, uh, story. My sketchbooks are not always, you know, filled with sketches. I have a lot of notes to myself because this is my artistic journal. That's what sketchbooks are to me. Um, I know a lot of people hold it, hold it as something that's completely holy and they're like, oh my goodness, my sketchbook is everything. Please don't draw on it ever, blah, blah, blah. I'm not that person. Uh, I let other people draw on it and then I just, I scribble. And I give myself notes and, you know, try and make stuff happen. It doesn't always work. Um, trying to do action poses and stuff, really trying to push some of the dy dynamics of my, of my drawings, really trying to get some nice poses for later on. Trying to do too much. <laughs> like, eh, it's a problem I have is trying to do too much stuff in one Oh, oh man, always doing the, the trying to get that to work. It never makes sense to me, like the super oversized swords. You're just like, what the, how do you hold that? So, some ideas for like trying to make convention drawings a thing, you know, interesting. Oh, weapon designs, bad posture, like where'd his head go? <laughs> it happens. Uh, poster designs sketches um, I'm gonna try that one I think that one's good I did this one I think that one came out nice but I'm gonna try that one next um, and then trying to do clan symbols I'm trying to make sure I have something that works for everybody I'm getting close I'm getting close but yeah just the development of things uh, tattoo designs from the main character. Um, like I, I stink at tattoos, so I'm just trying to make that a thing, I'm trying to make it work. More weapon designs, I'm trying to see what can work and won't work. Like I like this idea, like I think that's gonna happen someday. And see, here you go. So I let my kids draw in it when they want to. All right, it's just a sketchbook. It is literally just a uh, visual journal. <clears throat> That's my daughter. I don't really know if you guys can see, if you guys can actually see that. Yeah, okay. 
Um, but this was designed for one of the characters that I actually really like, the Scourge. Put, put some time and effort into coming up with the design of the tattoo, trying to make it work. Like this is a magical person, right? Represents the death, but in a different way, like a swarm. I have a video about that if you want to check it out. Make sure to link it in the card, right? So most of the things when I do development is pretty much in a sketchbook. And of course, as you see, I snap the spine on these little books all the time. I don't like losing because at one point I had it and it was all, you know, you start flipping it over and then you lose space, right? And so I don't like that, so I snapped it in half. Um, one of the designs for one of the main bad guys, who happens to be my son. Then I was doing intro work, which is fun. Um, this was this was an I this was an idea for the intro for the video game. This is an idea for like the trailer. Um, let me show you what this came out to be. Okay, then move forward. Just you know, continuing those storyboards. I have this. I made this into a keychain, which is really fun. More of that design, trying to really hammer out the storyboards for that intro. Trying to come up with the idea of an art book, how I want it to lay out and stuff like that. And then just poses, 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 trying to create something. And then it's really funny because I was trying to do all these dynamic poses. And then for the character itself, that was the one that worked. And you're just like, oh man, that really works. <laughs> so something very simple and you're just like, oh, well, I guess that's what's, what we're going to go with. <clears throat> You'll see a lot of profiles in my work, mostly because... Um, I believe that it is one of the easiest ways to come up with character designs because you can get a lot out of a profile, right? And you don't have to invest too much time and you can keep moving. So you'll see a lot of profiles in my work, in my sketchbooks at least. Character designs. This guy's got to come, he's got to become something. I like this mask a lot, so I'm going to make that a thing. And then eventually I moved on to this chibi style, which I think is what's going to uh, happen for the cartoon. Like I want to, I think I'm going to do that instead because it should be easier to animate than all the cartoon work that I was going to do. So I think that's where we're going. It took me a while, you know, figuring out how I want to incorporate, you know, more of this deformed uh, proportion into my work and I think that it's it's a lot of fun and it works right and I think it would be really cool to see like very aggressive and violent uh, <laughs> chibis going at it so so yeah so varying up the style and then I'm working on an intro for the YouTube channel so that's kind of what I'm going for And just weapon designs, trying to come up with inter interesting things that would be maybe a little different, but fun nonetheless. Those two. There. <clears throat> now, this one was fun because I can't find these like cloth ones anymore, but I went ahead and drew on the cover since I couldn't put stickers on it, so I went ahead and drew on the cover because that's fine. Uh, this one's a lot thicker. You'll see a lot more life drawing in this one. Character design, really horrible pen work, but I'm just coming up with ideas. Drawing women, which I need to continuously do. Keep drawing women. Um, trying to come up with the main bad guy with this one and trying to do like this fantasy militaristic type thing. So I'm still working on that, but I kind of like where that's going. Perspective for my students, life drawing. Um, so I'm working on a new project that will hopefully come out in 2021. And these are storyboards, or at least the first ones for the first like pilot episode.
<clears throat> sketches, trying out watercolor pencils, letting my kids draw. <laughs> Very fun, like I like this Christmas thing. Um, <clears throat> this is kind of where I go with my life drawings now. A pen and ink and just a very strong bold color. My this is my my daughter copied the outlines of that. <clears throat> like I I like this. This is once again my daughter drawing some Fortnite stuff. Trying for a new project that didn't happen. And then, so I started this idea of a 10 minute challenge, so I'm gonna blow through these. Um, but at first I was like, oh, I'm gonna draw a different character every time and try and see what I can get done in 10 minutes, right? And so it got really sketchy. I think it came out pretty cool. Um, anatomy's kind of jacked up, but you know, 10 minutes and I am super, super dupes slow. Then it was, oh, a character design challenge because I was coming up with characters. It wasn't that I had like, oh, I'm gonna draw Snake Eyes or Storm Shadow or anything like that. It was, nope, <clears throat> here is a new character. Here's a new character, here's a new character, right? 10 minutes. But then I was like, you know what? Let me just draw one character and try and see what I can accomplish in 10 minutes. Sometimes it went to inks. I was trying different uh, materials right bolder lines <clears throat> thinner lines and then it was like 10 minute challenge life drawing life drawing 10 minute challenge I'm just trying to get myself to go faster right life drawing 10 minute drawing life drawing 10 minute drawing right Right, so you can see how it starts, I think, except for that one. <laughs> it starts getting better, like I just have a better understanding of the character, so I wanna, you know, really push on light and dark and see what exactly I can actually do with the character, you know, working on some static poses. Um, doing, I did some Joe Mad uh, reference work. I love his style. Alright, life drawing, 10 minute drawing, life drawing, 10 minute drawing. <clears throat> you know, just trying to get faster because I'm extremely slow. Life drawing. Right? And then <clears throat> I started moving to 10 minute uh, character drawings, thinking about commissions and seeing if I can really do that. And then I did a three quarter view, which really stunk. And then I had to do it again. And you know, so that was, that one came out pretty cool. But then I just started thinking, you know what? I should really just do these as profiles. And so they, they range between 10 to 15 minutes a drawing. A really bad little green. There we go, that one's better. Spawn. And then, you know, me not being able to draw Superman at all for some reason. Like, I just, I don't know what it is. Um, Spider-Man, Cloak, and a bad Captain America. There. Moving right along. Great sketchbook. This is for my class, so I challenged them to do a sketchbook in the semester, and then for some reason I decided to challenge myself um, with every single class, and so I did that. So I did a lot of 10 minute drawings again, trying to, you know, knock out paper, trying to design the next project manager. Um, I'm trying to do a 360 project manager, so be on the lookout for that mid-2021 storyboards for some videos that I want to do with the kids just 10 you know trying to knock out these 10 minute drawings I really like this one I like the way that one came out and then like I said you know I had three sketchbooks that I had to finish in one semester so a lot of it started becoming <laughs> life drawings life drawing, life drawing, life drawing. Um, some more ideas for 
the 360 or a 365, the new project manager. I'm just life drawing, life drawing, life drawing, life drawing. Life drawing is something that you should always do. And I actually picked up um, a brush pen. I am not a brush person, but I do like the Higgins brush pen. It's actually really good. Ink comes out nice. It's got a nice tip. Um, so it's actually one of my favorite brushes. This one right here, the Higgins India ink brush marker, right? I think this thing is awesome. And like I said, I am not a brush person, but for life drawing stuff, <clears throat> I think that it comes out really, really nice. And it's just, it's a nice tool to have. This next one. It's this way. I'm trying to do some shading stuff. Eh, realized I'm more of a bold guy. Um, and then it's once again just life drawing, ten minute drawing. Right, trying to perfect this idea, what to do. Like that shoulder is really messed up, but you know it's ten minutes. So, and I'm slow. I'm a slow artist, so then you mess up. Try it again. Like drawing. Sketch of the women, because I need that. I try to do some character design stuff. And then we just went straight to 10 minutes again where I messed up Batwoman a lot. There's my frustration for messing up Batwoman a lot. And then I think I nailed it. So, all right, cool, Let's move on. I like this one, man bat. Really bad panthro, better panthro. Then I started doing Thundercats, Lino, Omra, Tiger, a bad Chitara, Jaga, Wily Kit. I'm just more horrible Chitaros, <clears throat> Wily Cat. Then we moved on to the Ninja Turtles. Splinter, Krang's Robot. <clears throat> and we end on the foot. So. All right, this is, this is a fun one. So this became my He-Man book. Another 10 minute drawing uh, book but it's on like Bristol board. So these are Bristol board papers, so it's a lot brighter. So you can really, really see. Hey man, this is one of my favorite Skeletors that I think I've ever done. Got a nice man at arms. Orko. Grand man. Manny faces, like I had to do a lot of reference to find a side profile. And apparently in the side profile, no face. <clears throat> Triclops, uh, Merman, uh, Mecha Neck, Cyclone, which I thought came out pretty cool, Hero, which is a new release from the He-Man universe, um, one of the alternate universes, Tila, Sorceress, uh, Evelyn, Trapjaw, uh, the Robot, I forgot what his name actually was, but someone asked me to draw it, uh, Zodiac, Scare glow, and then of course we end on ninja because well, I like ninjas. So, <laughs> all right, and so and the last one, <clears throat> last one here. Um, once again, it's for one of my classes, um, and I was doing product design stuff. You know, and also doing some Joe Madden reference drawings, testing out materials. Praying. 10 minute drawing stuff, you know? More product design for stuff that I'd like to work on for conventions. Try and make the space, the minimal space that we have, uh, something doable. This is a project that I will be completing in 2021, one way or the other, and definitely be on the lookout for that because this thing is gonna be awesome. Logo designs. Oh no. <laughs> now me working on hoods because I suck at hoods um, something I'm working on for my discord uh, it's going to be a, a d20 character design challenge and so I'm going to be 
throwing that up there to see if they'll join me for like a month. Scribbles. I was supposed to be working on a project that had this style. I was very excited about trying to work on that and kind of fell through. Doing animations, ball bounce. And in this style, it's a French style, and uh, there are no black people in it. So I was like, well, we're doing one, and it's mostly for like Black History Month, so I designed my own black guy to be in that type of um, style. And I was kind of sad that, like I said, it didn't, didn't happen, didn't materialize. Weapon designs, you know, bad drawings that happen. Uh, character design stuff, life drawings. Right, just scribbles, scribbles. Going to a brush pen that I did not like, but I did, I did a bunch with them, trying to get used to it, and it just didn't work out. Um, scribbles, character designs, trying to make that, that brush pen work the way I wanted it to. So I was trying not to give up on it, <laughs> but it definitely wanted to give up on me. And just pen work with a dying marker. I think this came out pretty cool. Then just this, I don't know what happened here. Some random, I don't know. I don't know. And so then I was like, I gotta make up for it by drawing some, some stuff that I know what I'm doing. All right, and just draw a really big dude, guy with a hood. And then I really, 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 really like this guy. I don't know what's going on here, right? Um, I'm normally, you know, less space fantasy and more fan dragon fantasy. So having a character that could probably fit in Star Wars was kind of mind boggling to me, but it was just me doing some scribbles and then bam, this is what happened. And I really, really do enjoy this one. And then the last one makes me smile because I was like, all right, I asked my daughter and I was like, okay, what should I do? What's the last thing I should do on this page? And she was like, ninja. I'm like, well, I always draw a ninja. And she's like, unicorn ninja. So that's what I did. So there's my unicorn ninja, very bright and bold. I think it's, a, I think it was cool. I had a lot of fun doing that one. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna make its debut in Ninja Empire, but I'm definitely going to keep this character around for a while. So yeah, and there you go. And so though that's that's my seven my seven sketchbooks. <laughs> All right, so that was my 2020 sketchbook tour. I got seven sketchbooks, which is probably a new record for me. So I'm actually pretty excited about the fact that I was able to do that, but it wasn't good enough for me. So what I want to do is I'm gonna set out a challenge and I hope you guys will hold me to it. And the challenge is that I get 12 sketchbooks in 2021. So that's my plan is to knock out 12 sketchbooks in 2021, but there's got to be some reason, something that I have to do if I don't make it. So if I don't make it, I'm going to give five, five people, all right? I'm going to give five people, five fans um, at the end of the year. If I do not make it, I'm going to give you guys original pieces of artwork from the project that I worked on called Dark Legacy. It's a game that I created um, and it was picked up by Upper Deck. So if you want to go check it out, please do. It's all over the internet. Uh, it's called Dark Legacy The Rising from Upper Deck. Go ahead and pick it up. But I will give you five pieces of original artwork. So that is the plan. If I cannot make it, I'm going to give five people original pieces of artwork. All right, so I hope that you guys will join me in 2021 as we put out new work and new sketchbooks and hold me accountable to my challenge of 12 sketchbooks in a year. And if you want, join me. And in every video, post a link to your sketchbook tour and we will do this journey together. But until then, until we hit the end of 21, 2021, I hope that you guys are safe and healthy 
and you guys are going to be productive because 2021 is coming up. It's around the corner, just a couple of days. So we're going to have to hit the ground running. So I will see you in 2021. And I hope to be able to see if I can actually get this done. And um, yeah, so thank you guys so very much. And I will see you at the next video.